Always think, what is the audience thinking coming into this session based on your bio, the promo of the session, the event they were coming to, or your breakout session at the conference? You are going to introduce your premise, your central theme, after your opening, and remember, however you choose to open, it needs to logically transition in the premise. I do not recommend when people are coming in, you say, the subject of our presentation is how to design and deliver. One, you need to do something that invites them in. And let's face it, how often are people not actually all there at the beginning? If your premise is somewhat complex, and some of my clients, you can imagine, they have much more complex subjects than we speak about, that you have to give a story, a statistic, or an example that helps us see, us, see it, or understand it, or ponder the question that leads into the introduction of this is what we're going to be focusing on and why it's of importance to you. Then your points of wisdom, this is a talking point, or however you want to call it. Your, your, with one of my clients, Steve Savage, we made it his three savage strategies. So savage strategy one. Now you have eight. Eight. Eight, eight simple rules for getting the most out of your sales force. Eight simple rules for getting the most out of your sales force. So the first simple rule, the second simple rule, all right, so you put this together. Now, I would suggest with eight simple rules, depending on how long your presentation is, you're probably going to organize the two or three that go together into a chunk. But you introduce your ideas, and then you develop that talking point into a chunk of content. And we're going to look, dive in a bit deeper so you see how you can actually apply this, this speech model. Because the examples, the circles, sometimes the champs interpret it, and it can be three different stories. Let's just say your point was, give me a point in your speech. Uh, information is vital to good decision making. Okay, information is, is vital to good decision making. So, for example, in this company, what might be a company you would speak to or an industry? Um, a local government. Local government. All right. Now, so that is the first talking point. Now, give me three different areas within local government that the decisions are starting with low complexity decision. Um, understanding that you're having a crisis. A crisis. And, and who, who would have a crisis of three different levels? Um, the individual that encounters the crisis. Okay, so the individual encounters the crisis, how would they look at it? Then who would they tell? The next level, usually their departments. Okay, then the departments. But can you see how you're looking at that one talking point from three different points? The person who finds the crisis, who they report to. It could be then who makes the decision to change or come up with budget that isn't planned or what happens. So you look at that crisis or that discovering the crisis three different ways. However you look at it, this is how you develop a chunk of content. You are always going to review your ideas. Now yesterday, how did I do that? So what's in it for you? And then Q&A. Let us just say, on, in some circumstances, you do not have questions. Then you might say, at this point, I am usually asked. Or, I am surprised nobody asked me. Or, I expected you to ask. Or, perhaps you were too shy to ask. Always have your own questions in your back pocket. 
you can always say, last week in Cleveland, a woman in the second row asked, Patricia, what is our next logical step? Well, let's just imagine you gave this and you say, Lucian, what's my next logical step? Well, that depends. If these ideas of value, you can go back and present them to your senior leadership team. Or, if you would like to invite me in and get them on the, on the agenda, I would happily present them with you. Or, if you're not comfortable speaking in front of your senior management, if you can get me the appointment and introduce me, I'll do the presentation. What you are doing is answering their questions or putting the questions in their minds that you want them to be thinking about. How can they engage with you more? You can download the special report from my website. You can buy my book. You can come to my boot camp. Now let's look at different ways of how you fill in your chunks of content. You have your talking point, icon points of wisdom, whatever it could be. It could be the first sales point. Now perhaps you need to give an explanation of what you mean by that. Then an example of it and then an application. You might want to look at this historically. Now yesterday's speech really was here's the past, here's the present more of my business now, and then I even introduced the idea, my brother said, what about memories of the future? the pre-event, and when you're in the creative process, this is where we get our vision of what's possible. I bet you are all exactly the same as me. <laughs> the amount of times I've said, if I knew it was going to be this much work, I would never have done it. But you get inspired by a vision of what you can create. The amount of seminars I have created, it's so much work to do once, which is why you record them. They can live on in your lives and cars forever. <laughs> they were so much work, it's a shame not to. But when you are talking, for example, I, uh, I talk a, a lot with sales teams. So I can say in the past, well, look at Troy. In the past, traditionally, your sales process was like this, or this is how you recruited salespeople. At the present, John tells me your strategies are this. However, as you look in the future, as Fred, the CEO, shared his goals, the strategies that have worked well in the past are no longer going to work for the future vision you have of your company. However, don't worry, these eight strategies are exactly what you need. See how it works? In the past, you were overweight and didn't exercise. At the present, you've incorporated. However, when you get into your 70s, you have to look at how do you stay vital as you look into your 80s and 90s. What would it mean to you, your career, your company? If every time you stood up in front of 5, 50 or 500, in a boardroom, training center or convention hall, if you were confident, you were powerful, persuasive, professional, compelling on message and a resounding success. If you want to accelerate your career, transform sales results, develop leadership skills, or even become an in-demand, highly paid professional speaker, then FRIP Virtual Training is designed for you. FRIP VT Powerful Persuasive Presentations is my highly interactive, learn-at-your-own-pace virtual training around all area of presentations. It is almost as if I am there, sitting next to you, helping.
Fripp Virtual Training is a multi-million dollar, state-of-the-art, web-based training platform. It is designed to closely emulate personal training and coaching. It's almost as if I am sitting with you 24-7 as your own personal speech coach and sales trainer. Sign up now, take a free trial, and experience three of our content-rich chapters. Then join and take advantage of my 30-plus years experience and in-depth study. Make the commitment to your career. Reap the benefits of Fripp VT by making it a consistent part of your personal development. You'll be glad you did.